This is a true story about a girl whose videos go viral in the internet and became famous in a single night for her innocent and beautiful face. But later the people were shocked and dumbfounded when they learned her to be a cold-blooded murderer which was behind her innocent looking face. Who is this girl and what she had done? To know more about her story, you have to watch till the end. Hello friends, welcome to my channel Ashnaga Trending Videos. Actually, this girl's name is Isabella Guzman. She was born on 9 June 1995, Aurora. She used to live in the town of Aurora, which is under Colorado State of America, with her mother, Yon Mihoy, and stepfather, Rian Hoy, in the town of Aurora in Colorado. Suddenly, there was a TikTok video of a girl named Isabella Guzman go viral on the internet all over the world, except India, where a TikTok was already banned in India from 10 June 2020. In the video, the girl was seen coming in the courtroom with handcuffs in her hands wearing a jail clothes and began to act very differently by making an unusual gestures from her face and fingers in front of the court camera. Actually the incident took place when Isabella was only 18 years old. On that day while well, Isabella's mother was returning home from her work. Suddenly she saw a boy came out of the window from the room of Isabella and immediately jumped off the fence and ran away. Her mother knew everything because Isabella always used to bring the boys from the locality at home when she was all alone and the boys escaped from the window when the parents returned back from their works. When her mother saw a boy, she immediately took her husband, Rian Hoi, who was Isabella's stepfather, went inside her room and confronted Isabella. Mother tried to make Isabella understand, but she was not in a position to listen to her parents. Instead, she started to quarrel and shouted at her mother. And at last, she spit at her mother's face and went out. Isabella slowly became a short-tempered girl when her biological father, Robert Guzman, and mother divorced in the year 1999 and married to Rian Hoi in the year 2000. She started to hate her mother and stepfather because Rian took the place of her real father, Robert Guzman. She used to demand an expensive clothes from her mother and they started to quarrel when the mother didn't provide her what she demanded. Her mother was fed up with her daughter, Isabella, because she had the mother's advice and stopped going to school. When she was expelled from the 12th class and roaming around a whole day and night with her friends, one day, Yeon Mi Hoi was surprised when she opened an email which was sent to her by Isabella herself. It was written, you will pay. After sending the email, Yeon Mi Hoi began to afraid of her daughter, Isabella, more. So she lodged a complaint against her daughter to the police and told police about the email. It was just a domestic problem, so the police simply advised Isabella to refrain from such activities and warned her not to repeat it again. Later, Isabella's biological father, Robert Guzman, also came to the house and tried to make his daughter understand that you should always respect your elders and talk to them politely. Later at night, Rian heard a loud sound coming from the upstairs rooms while well, he was taking a dinner. So he ran towards the room where the sound was coming. Then he saw a bathroom door half opened and when he tried the door open, Isabella shut the door from inside. Yon Mihoi shouted to Rian for a help, but Isabella didn't open the door. A while later, Rian noticed the blood at the bathroom door which was coming out from the bathroom. He ran downstairs and took the phone and dialed 100. Rian heard the voice of Yon Mihoi that said Jehovah which is the Hebrew name of God and that was the last word his wife spoke. When Rian ran towards the bathroom, the ground slipped under his feet. He was shocked to see Isabella coming out from the bathroom holding a knife which was covered with blood. When Rian went inside the bathroom, he saw blood were everywhere and Yon Mihoi was found lying in the floor naked with a big cut wounds on her throat and a lot of injury marks on her face and chest, which was inflicted by a sharp knife. Later, the police and the forensic team came to the scene. The police took the dead body for the postmortem, and they started to search for Isabella everywhere, but she was not found. So the police made an announcement to the public to be aware. At the same time, they were told to report to the police immediately if Isabella was spotted anywhere. It was found from the postmortem report that there was 79 injury marks inflicted by the knife on the different parts of Yeon Mi Hoi's body. The people of America were shocked to hear the news that a daughter killed her own mother in a very cruel manner. 
The next day at around 11 a.m., the police received a call from the stranger informed that the dead body of a person full of blood was lying inside the car in the north side garage park road of number 2851. So the Aurora police immediately went to the garage park area, but no dead body was found. The police didn't understood how could a dead body suddenly disappear in a broad daylight. The police found some evidence from the car when they inspected inside the car, which was linked to the murder of Yeon Mi Hoi. So they deployed some personnel around the garage park in a civil dress for a vigil. After more than two hours, suddenly a girl appeared in the garage park. So one of the undercover officers went there and talked to her to confirm that it was Isabella. After they recognized her to be Isabella, they started to follow her for some time and surrounded her by pointed a pistol at her. At first, Isabella tried to fool the police by saying, you are arresting a wrong person. I'm not Isabella, but Samantha Gonzalez from Ohio. The police didn't believe her words because there were blood stains in her dress. Finally, the police arrested her after 16 hours of gruesome killing of her own mother. Later, the police registered a first degree murder against Isabella and she was sent to the Aurora jail. After a week, her court trail started. The police had to drag her to the court because she resisted to go out from her cell. When she was brought to the courtroom, her behavior was not normal. She started to look at the news cameras in the courtroom with a smile and making different gestures. Again, after nine months, her court trial started. The court produced a report that Isabella killed her own mother mercilessly by inflicted a deep injury more than a hundred on her mother's body. She was already 18 years old, which was an adult, and she was supposed to get a death penalty. But her defense lawyer produced a doctor's report to the court which says the mental condition of Isabella was not stable. She has a paranoid schizophrenia mental sickness. Her lawyer also added in the court that Isabella didn't knew that she was murdering her own mother, but some enemies, which was a threat for the country. At last, the judge, George Bachelor, gave a statement on the case after the hearings. No punishment was given to Isabella because her mental condition was not normal, but she was sent to Colorado Mental Health Center for the treatment. The judge also said that Isabella would be in a mental health center as long as she was not a threat to the society. In 2020, Isabella appealed to the authorities and people to release her from the mental health center in her interview. After her interview, the videos of Isabella after her interview, the videos of Isabella came out in the TikTok. It showed that the people copied her character when she was in the court before. And the videos went viral. Later on June 2021, the court gave the orders to release her from the mental health center in the condition that she had to attend the mental health center regularly for the treatment. The unfortunate thing in this case was that the people, without observing the case properly, they supported Isabella by saying that what she had done to her mother was a right action due to her innocent and beautiful looking face, which was not right. The law and the people should not give a judgment in favor of some person or a group just because they are rich, powerful, or famous. But it should matter how and what degree they had committed a crime. Friends, that's all for today. Kindly like it and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching.